is finally here and I am so damn happy to own this. Yes, ladies and gents, this is a Net Yorozi PS1. Uh, released in, I think, 1997. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's literally made for people who wanted to hook up to a PC, make their own games. However, the biggest downside there was that the games were limited to 2 megabytes. Yes, that's right. A full 2 megabytes in final size. On the side here we just have more guff. This, this tells you the model number. It's a DTL H3002. And I'm pretty sure the other side just says the save again. This, this is so big to get in frame. It really is. Oh, there we go. Precautions. This unit is designed exclusively for with uh, one CD-ROMs that have both PlayStation logo and NTSC. Oh. NTSC J, NTSC UC, and PAL, or Net Eurozy designation. Uh, I've been after one of these for so freaking long, and now I finally have one. Keep it, keep in mind, this is a, a, mo a mostly complete system. It doesn't have the books, it doesn't have uh, the Code Warrior CD, but it does have everything else. So, uh, let's uh, get right into this. Bring you into frame. Mm. All right. So I've already, I've already unboxed this before, and it's kind of. Now keep, keep in mind that this is a thing from eBay. I picked this up off of eBay for the price that the seller was asking. It was relatively cheap. It really was. Ah, uh, here's the Nexuse controller. I already have one of these. It's meant to come with two of them. But that means I've now got a more complete system than I've before. Uh, it also comes with a PAL power plug and also a standard uh, Kel connector, so there's that. With all that off to the site, we now have this. This is a box containing NetYorosi boot disk, NetYorosi software development disk, access card and communication cable. So let's uh let's do a secondary unboxing here. So this is what you would get in the second one of this. First and foremost, with uh what's inside this box, we have the Yorozi boot disc, the software development disc. Can you focus? I love to see it. And that brick there is the communications cable, which I have done a horrible job at <laughs> putting back in the box. So lift this off. You can see this box here, that's for the access card. Uh, oddly enough, the access card just looks to be like a black pl uh, official Sony memory card. Even down to all the guff on the back, except for access card. So let's stick that back in. And we'll stick all of this off to the side. But here we have the communication cable. So this plugs into the PlayStation serial port. And this end goes into the back of an old PC. And before we go any further into this, I just want to thank all my channel members for helping make this video uh, more possible than it would have been before. So, massive shout out to all of you. Your names will be on screen right about here or somewhere. But you helped make this video possible, so massive shout outs to all of you. Massive thank you to everyone that's become a channel member so far. You can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Here we go, there's still some more in here. There's still some more in here. Can I angle this properly? So this is the system itself. It's still in what I presume to be the original foam. So let's take this out. Ah, uh, take this out.
And there she is. The Net University system. Absolutely brilliant. Wow, jump cut. Yes, that's because I realized that things were a little bit too messy. So, yeah, I had to go and tidy up a little bit. But anyway, here is a system you'll realize it is way different from all of the other PlayStations that we've taken a look at so far. However, however, like you can see here that it's a PAL DTL H3002. AC 220 to 240 volts, uh, 50 hertz, 12 watts, which is all lovely jubbly. But you can see here, I turn it over, we have a parallel I.O., we have serial, we have our RCA, and we have RFU, plus for AV and ACN. All of this matches up with the SCP, the, uh, yeah, the SCPH 1000 series PlayStations. Uh, one that I've taken a look at on the channel in the past, uh, this can also be identified with the uh, power and open buttons. They're not using symbols, they're using little letters. And then on the inside, with the drive thing being up here, instead of over here. Uh, like on later models. Well, ha! It is a uh, testing time here, folks. Um, yeah, we're at the little testing station. We have the PlayStation all set up with... um. That up here. We also have the return of the PC speaker. Well, PC speaker, it's a Bluetooth speaker. And the first test is we're going to see what we can do with both of these discs. We do have the Net Yorozi controller hooked up, but also hooked up via the RCA input at the back with a, a thick orange uh, cable and some sound and all that. So, without further ado, uh, oh, one thing to note is the rear of this disc is in fact um, CD. It's like a software CD. Because you know, it clearly says the uh, Net Yorazi software development disc in the back. So, that has to be inserted into, into a PC. But, we are going to pop this in and see what happens, see what we can do with the Yorozi boot disc, so to speak. So, let's put this in, close the lid, press reset, and readjust the camera. Well, 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 would you look at that? Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated. I have no idea what the hell is on this. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. Oh, what is this? CIP version 2.0 startup access card checking. Access card checking, okay. Access card checking, not found. Terminal speed, 9600 BPS. Oh, no. We're going to take a wee bit of a different approach and put in a Japanese game. So now, I present to you my three special versions of Metal Gear Solid. So we're going to do a quick boot of this. We may have to mute the footage just in case. I have no idea. I picked these all up off, up off of eBay for um, very cheap in fact. Alright, so let's do this. Whip. And three, two, one. You're going to get the lovely Sony screen here. Licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated. And as you can see, PlayStation is running. Net Yorozi is in fact a region free system, and oh boy, it really shows. Our Metal Gear Solid, let's click, click, new game, option. Oh, 
ちらスネークパイサー聞こえるか旅行だスネーク状況はどうだやはり地上へのルートは中央の消防機だけだしそうか予定 Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. You know it plays Japanese games. Well, how? Jump cut, because I had to go and get these. These are all a whole bunch of PlayStation 1 demo discs from back in、uh, 96, 97, etc. However, there is one specific disc that we are interested in. We're gonna grab this. This is a very special version of. Um, these demo discs. It does contain, it does contain, um, a compilation of Net e u r o s i video games. We have like a compilation. Play 14 full games! It's the best of e u r o s i Next to Metal Gear Solid, Box Life, Scars, V2000, Max Power Racing. Uh, that's a video demo. Uh, playable demo. Devil Dice, Cool Borders 3. And that's your lot. Alright, so demo disc 14 is in the drive. We're gonna quickly turn the PlayStation on, shut the lid. And there we have it Sony Computer Entertainment Europe Ski TM. Mmm. This literally does bring back memories, and I've already tested this disc beforehand, and it does in fact work. So, we're going to get to see the Net e u r o s i advert, one of the things that drew me to the system back in 97. So, you're going to get to see that, or at least a version of it, and then we're going to get into some e u r o s i games. Oh, we have one of the games here as well, so that's going to be very handy. Y'all hear this properly? Ah.、Oh, it's literally nostalgia! 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 Nostalgia is not a word, but anyway, now you know the end of it. Let's go. Let's go. We need to see this. It is some. Decent stuff that runs through what the r o s i system is and、uh, what you would normally get with it and how you can do stuff with it. And that says it's just a little quick advertisement. Now remember, if you've enjoyed yourself and you've had a good time watching this,、uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button as well. If you want to get early access to all this kind of content,、uh, feel free to become a channel member by clicking the join button down below. Once again, shout out to all of my channel members for all the support. Thank you very much.、Um, yeah. Let's, uh, we've got Scars on here, we've got Video Metal Gear Solid,、uh, a Bugs Life, we also have Net e r o s i Hall of Fame, which is what we need. I can't remember if that, the advert is on here. It doesn't seem to be. So we're going to go click on. The, well, click on. We're going to press the button for Net e r o s i Hall of Fame and bada bing, bada boom. Alrighty. So we're going to see a very similar screen to what we saw earlier. Oh, it didn't even show on. Ah, the monitor. Here we go. So, when we when we launched the software、uh, boot disk for、um, Netherosi, this thing, 
It was a very similar screen to this that popped up, but it was checking checking the memory card, checking access card, that kind of thing. But in this case, it's a menu selection screen, which allows us to pick between 14 different games. Total Soccer, Yorozzi, Blitter Ball, Mahjong, Haunted Maze, Pushy 2, Psycon, Hover Car Racing, Gravitation, Rockin' Gems, The Incredible Cone Man, which is a Pac-Man clone, Terra Incognita, Bouncer 2, Clone, between the Eyes. Now, Between the Eyes is a very special game, which I might just do uh, an entire video on it at some point. Maybe. Anyway, we're going to go try Clone. Uh, Clone by Stuart Ashley. So let's click on that. Press X. And we should be loading keys, bullet. Look at that. It literally shows that it's loading in all the assets. Oh, it's all in TIM format as well. So that's something. That's very something. Whoever knows anything about TIM format is going to have a bit of a fun time uh, researching this. Oh, look at that. It's all 3D. Oh my goodness. Can you hear this? Oh my goodness. Oh, we just pressed start. There was no friggin' prompt or anything. Okay. Oh, look at this! This is it. I like this. I like this a lot. So we have start game, controls, credits, and quick game. Let's go to controls. What do we have? Up, forward. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Up, down, forward, backward. I hate this. Oh, why can't it just be a picture? Turn right, L1, strafe. Oh, go away. Ooh. Level 1. I'm just reading off of the Elgato uh, capture. Over there. So, H sync, max N sync, 88. This is still in development. What is this? Okay. Map. Strafe, strafe. Okay. Uh Okay, where's enemies? Uh what the hell was that? Holy Jesus Holy Jesus Are you what the hell? Alright. So here we are, we're going to be trying Terra Incognita. So it's, once again, it's going to load up all this nonsense here, Terra.exe, exe, interesting. Uh, yeah. So we've got all this nonsense over here on both screens with our team, Fatal Presents. And it's going to be a quick look at what could have been if Sony kept the Yorozzi stuff going. Ah, so to speak. So we're going to go with English. I'm going to press start and things are just going to happen. Here we come. Okay, this, this, this is an RPG, this is done by Team Fatal, and it's only a small snippet of what you could do fully with an Yorozzi. Well, we'd better not to go, I guess. Okay, keep, keep in mind, it's um not the best translated, but okay. No kidding, what do you say at this point? I know a rumour that there is a golden pedestal in the ancient ruins in this island. Rummer. That is today's word choice, rummer. I know, but... Alright, so... Take care, and go by yourself. Because that is... Fantastic! That's fantastic advice to give to anyone. Take care and go by yourself. No kidding! You must come with me, alright? No. No, I don't want to go. Please, please, go by yourself. 
You are still a coward, guy. Guy. Please note that guy is a coward. So, take care, good luck. Look at this nonsense. Ah, oh, this is so good. It's so good. Terra Incognitas. What a hell of a good intro. Mitsuru Kamiya, Kamiyama Shentaro Tajima So now it's my turn to play, so it's literally basic controls Ah, uh, there's no way for us to run Ah, uh, so yeah, there's, there's no real pause menu or anything either And basically, it's a 3D kind of Final Fantasy slash Zelda-esque game like, th this team would have done well with this game uh, on PlayStation. But there are monsters. We go through here and fight them. Ah, uh, we need a key. Okay, so we grab the key. Give key. Hey, you get a key. Despite the wonky translation, I think this would have done very well. If I'm honest, there's a monster over there, it's a greedy slime. So X is to jump, sir, square is to take a slash at it. We're gonna quickly do that. One, two. Ah, uh, come here. It took three attacks to kill it. Get a power recovery item you can use with circle button. We're going to call it quits there. Alright. This has been GTA Raj. Not only unboxing a net year Aussie console, but also showing off what could have been with a few net year Aussie games. As always, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. Uh, feel free to drop a like and share the content around. I, uh, yeah. If you want to get early access to edited content, plus much, much more, Click the join button down below next to the subscribe button. You don't have to, but you can if you really, really want to. So, thank you. Um, also, another third time shout out to my channel members for helping to make this kind of content possible. So, massive shout out to them. So, yes. This has indeed been GTA Raj. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next uh, video or stream. So take care.